I feel that the lamb had an impact on the Connecticut DCO system. Um, it was the first time that managers have gotten together in a way that they could share examples and stories of things that had that happened to them every life every day in their lives, and they don't have the opportunity to, you know, be with contemporaries and have that sort of information and. The fact that they brought in a high level uh, deputy commissioners and other people that were from our agency to talk to us in a way about the inner workings of DCF that a lot of people don't know about and that gave us the opportunity to you know learn more about our fiscal situation and how grants are, are, are procured and um, how leadership decisions are made. I thought the disc was very interesting. Um, you know, anybody who looks at a, at a self-assessment, you, you have some positives. They like to see all the positives and like, oh yeah, I'm that, I'm that. But then, you know, some of the things that you may not absolutely see positive, you kind of push to the side. And I realized that, you know, in doing my own assessment and thinking about it, that you really can't do that. And I rated really high for D, which was, you know, um, you know, if you look at Domini, I mean, that's not something that you want to be seen at, but one of the, so, you know, I needed to lower, I think I needed to be more inclusive uh, of a group. Uh, decision. So that's what I learned from the DISC. Implementation science, you know, whenever I think of new initiatives that are being implemented either by me um, or the commissioner, I, I think of, you know, what were the organizational drivers behind it? Um, you know, the data and the systems intervention that we're thinking. We've had a lot of uh, initiatives, you know, permanency, s safety. Um, so some have, have gone you know and, and, and are doing well um, and gotten off the ground uh, some you know have faltered a little bit or, or or haven't gotten off the ground as quickly um, so when I see that I automatically think about well you know what were the implementation gaps uh, was it a simple case of knowledge to practice um, the you know our value our, our our vision to reality gap or is it just a fidelity issue that you know we're the faithfulness to the uh, model um, so I would say implementation science and, and leading for change my coaching experience was an incredible experience and opportunity I had it was different than a kind of supervision it was an opportunity for me to be able to talk with her to collaborate with her and to develop and because of my coaching experience, I'm definitely a better version of myself, I think, as a leader, as a manager, and as a person. My change initiative in the 2018 LAM um, was looking at how we could bring animal-assisted therapy, animal-assisted interventions to the department. It's an area of practice that I'm very, very passionate about, and I saw that that there was a need for um, us to have these services. Research shows us more and more that animal-assisted interventions can help children uh, with trauma, children with anxiety, children with physical disabilities, um, and children um, on the autism spectrum. The great thing about the LAM opportunity was I had all of these great experienced people at my disposal, um, whether it be from the department or outside. And I had the support of uh, DCF's administration um, to um, carry my project forth with enthusiasm. So the initiative is now officially called PAWS for Kids. Um, and we had a, a great kickoff meeting in June um, that included DCF staff and the animal advocacy community. I think the first thing I'd have to talk about is the Strengths Finder. Because when I did LAM, I um, certainly came out as a relationship builder. Um, and that was really unique in my group. So really when we had to sort of separate by our types, I stood alone. Um, and I really had to think about that. Um, and I've gone back a couple times to sort of reread what it said about me. And it's spot on. And it's like reading a horoscope. I found value in the professional development day for a couple of reasons. One, for a selfish reason, that it really made me go back and sort of relive some of my experiences in LAMB. But it was also powerful to have all the participants in the room at the same time. And we don't give folks an opportunity to process at all. Um, and really to give management folks an opportunity to be with senior administrators and really process the meat of the work, which is how do I move things forward? What about when folks are resistant? Um, and really get so many different perspectives. So from that and the fact that we all got to hear about different change projects and sort of initiatives that each office was doing was really exciting and I think really valuable. 
My participation in LAM helped acclimate me to DCF by really honing me in on um, the values of DCF. I think very quickly in talking about um, leadership overview that we had, uh, managing in the public sector, leading people, leading for results, all of those concepts helped very quickly for a person who's never been in DCF and had, was really brand new, um, really get a sense of where you value, where we're putting our effort. When I first learned about the mock interview, I was very nervous. Um, I prepared myself like I would with any interview, you know, took it very seriously. When I got in there, I wasn't sure how I was going to do. Then I learned that I knew everything of all the questions, and I felt it flowed really nicely. I felt the panel was very accommodating. They gave me really great critical feedback afterwards, and I felt I learned a lot, you know, when I was in there. So initially, I wasn't sure if I should do it, and I'm really glad that I did. LAM has been transformative. I, I had an opportunity to do another leadership model um, just in the beginning of my role as an office director at the time. And it was great. It was a cross-system kind of training workshops with other disciplines, but something was missing. So in 2011, I had the opportunity to do an um, in-residence LAM um, Leadership Academy for Middle Managers. And it definitely filled in the blanks connected the dots and um, gave us an opportunity to kind of pump the brakes on the freight train a little bit to be creative, to be innovative, and to think about ways that parts of our system could be improved with some slight improvements or ways that we could totally change the way we do business. So along with the change initiatives, um, I had an opportunity now to be a super coach for an upcoming leader within the department. And as a regional administrator, not his, I was able to kind of let him know what some of my pitfalls were, hear what some of the challenges are that he experiences, and really talk through things with him in a way that had been done with me. And so for my experiences with LAM to be able to um, have those conversations with my own leadership team and with other leaders across the department. It, it really is transformative in the way we do our business. So I, I'm definitely a fan. If I had to use one word to explain what LAM meant to me, it's introspective. Transformative. Long-lasting. Truth. LAMtastic. It was inspirational. Game changer. It would be possibilities. I think that the um, the LAM opportunity opens so many doors that you don't even realize um, when you first, you know, initiate um, coming to be part of a LAM community. And um, the possibilities are endless, really.